Are you looking for some tips to make seed sowing easier when you can finally get out and start your gardening season? Well, join me today as I show you how I organize my seeds for outdoor planting. Hi, I'm Gardener Scott, and these are my seeds hundreds of packets. And as I've shown in earlier videos, they are organized using a few different methods. They're organized by the type of seed, when I'm going to start them, and whether I'm going to be putting them outside or inside. Now it's time for the final step in the planning process, and that's organizing the seeds to make it easy when I finally get outside to put these seeds in the ground. Now, I'm doing this video indoors now because here in Colorado, it's snowing outside. So this is a perfect day to do this type of activity. Don't wait to the last minute to decide where those packets are going to go into your garden. Now, as I've shown before, I've already developed a plan for my indoor sowing, and it includes some of the plants that are going outdoors. And then using the planner app on my phone, I have each bed figured out as to what plants I'm going to grow in it. Well, I'm not growing hundreds and hundreds of different plants, so I don't need all of these seed packets. This next step is to organize or whittle down the number of seed packets so I'm only using the ones that are actually going to be used by me in my garden this year. This box contains all of my flower seed packets, some of which I've already started indoors, and a few of these might be going out a little bit later, but not as part of this planning. And so this box, I don't need to go through at all. These are not going out into my vegetable garden. I'll remove them from the table and we'll move on to the next box. This box contains seeds that I've already started indoors. I use these plastic storage boxes as my primary way to organize the seeds that I'm going to be growing each year. Once I start those seeds, either indoors or outdoors, I move them to another box for organizational purposes. And that's what this box is. These are the seeds that I've already started downstairs. They're under lights right now, and I'm not planning on putting any of these seeds in my outdoor garden because most of them are going into the garden as plants. So I can get rid of this box. And that brings us to this box. This box is set up similarly. There are a number of packets in here that I've already started indoors, like all of these tomato packages and pepper packages. These are not going outside. So what I'm going to do at this point is take all these tomato and pepper packages and move them to another box and go through here to see if there's any other that I have already started or maybe decided that I'm not going to grow. So I got some popcorn this year. I've changed my mind. I'm not growing popcorn. So I'm gonna put that into this box as well. I set up this box a few months ago as the seeds that I probably wasn't going to grow in the garden this year. But this is my last chance to review these seeds and determine if it's something that I've changed my mind on. So it's relatively easy because I've already done this process once to go through here and decide if I've changed my mind and any of these are going to get another chance. And I look at this early wonder smooth leaf beet and I've changed my mind about beets. I was just going to grow yellow beets this year, but I think I'm going to expand. So maybe this one is getting a reprieve. And some of the rest of these plants, like cilantro, 
I realized that I didn't have as much cilantro seed as I thought I did in these other boxes. So this one has gotten a reprieve. And so I'll continue going through. Here's more tomato plants. They're definitely going into this other box. All of these watermelon and tomatoes are going in that box. And so this is just an exercise for me to decide now as I'm organizing for the last time which of these I'm going to grow or not. And here's a good example of why you want to do this, especially in a box you've already identified as seeds that you're not going to grow. This group of the honey boat delicata squash, the soybean, the bushy cucumber, and the snow's fancy pickling cucumber, these are all brand new seeds that are in my planting plan. I'm not sure how they made it into this box, but they don't belong. The rest of these, I'm going to stick with my original decision. And all of these are not going into the garden this year. And so both of these boxes go to the floor. They're not being planted. So you can see how even though I start with hundreds of seed packets, because I have the organizational system I do where I categorize the seeds at different times during the planning process, now all of a sudden we're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're getting to the point that I can select the specific seed packets that are going in my garden. Those two boxes ended up giving me seven seed packets. This seven is just the beginning. Now I'll start doing the same thing with this plastic container, which I know contains seeds that I've already identified as part of the plan and what I'm growing this year. And so I'll just do a quick review to see if there's anything in here that I'm not planning on doing. I have a lot of cilantro seeds. I'll leave them in here for now. I can see that this firecracker vine and this coreopsis got into the wrong package somehow as well. But the rest of these look pretty good so far. I don't think I'm going to have to remove any of these. So by going through and organizing these seeds earlier in my season, I now have a pretty good idea of what's going to make it outside. On this other side are seeds that are organized a little bit differently. In this first box, these are seeds primarily from botanical interests. And these are seeds that I ordered and that I received after I had done the initial organization of all of these other seeds. So I'll go through here and see if it's still something I want to grow, like this black beauty squash and the zinnias. They go into the box. The marigolds, the sunflowers, the loofahs, they go in the box. These lettuce and cucumbers and this nice slow bolt cabbage goes into the box. But some of these, like the petunia, the black-eyed Susan, and this drumstick flower, I meant to start indoors, didn't. So I'll go ahead and put these back in the box for now, take a look at them and maybe start them this week indoors. But that's done. In this box are older seeds. Almost all these seed packets are nine or 10 years old. I have newer versions. And so while I might experiment a little bit with some of these seeds, I'm not planning on putting any of these in the garden. And so now we're getting down to the nitty gritty and I can go through all of these survival garden seeds and see which of these are in my plan that I need to go ahead and put into this primary planting box. I've already gone through this bag once or twice before and decided that I was not growing these seeds. So it should be pretty quick. But what I'm looking for is something like these little fingers carrots. Hadn't planned on growing these, but I think I will. So for now, I'll put them into the will grow box. These peppers, I don't need to start till next year. 
This Dipper Gourd, my daughter and granddaughters and I were talking about projects that we could do from the garden and these gourds are something we talked about. So I hadn't planned on doing these this year, but I think I will. And the same with this Bait Alpha Cucumber. This is a Parthenocarpic cucumber variety with very small seeds. I wasn't impressed with them last year, but in thinking about it, I'm going to give them a second chance. So they'll make it into the box. The rest of these, just a quick review, doesn't look like any of these are ones that I'm particularly interested in. Because I have already done this once, it goes pretty quickly. Oh wow. I don't want to grow the Detroit dark red beet this year. Remember I said I like the yellow beets? Well this golden beet from Baker Creek is exactly what I want to grow and I couldn't find this seed packet. I don't know how it made it into this bag but it's definitely going into the I will grow it box. So now this bag can go on the floor and of course I'm not leaving these on the floor. They're going back into storage as soon as I'm done here. I'll go ahead and go through this big box of seeds I have from Survival Garden Seeds. Again, I've already gone through here at least once, usually a couple times, to see if there's something I want to grow. The Golden Zucchini, well, I'd forgotten that I was planning to grow the Golden Zucchini this year. So that wasn't part of my original plan that I put into my planter app, but now that I see the seed packet, I'll modify my plan a little bit. Other cucumbers, more bait alpha. I don't need any more packages. I do need some more dill seed. So I'm glad I went through here because as you can see, I came across some of those seeds that I was looking for or had forgotten about and I've added to my will plant box. So we started with all of those seeds on the table and now we're down to the final selection. Now I'll go through my primary storage box. Beans, I'm actually not planning to grow many beans this year. So nothing there. I'll look at these beets to see if there's anything here that I want to grow, but most of these are the dark red. I'm not growing any of these. I've already gone through this process once. Same with the carrots. I know there's nothing in here. I'm not planning on growing chard. I've already removed most of the cucumber. The only thing left in here is a single packet of the beta alpha. And the birdhouse gourd is not the gourd I'm going to grow this year. I'm not planning to do much in the way of kale. I've already pulled the lettuce seeds. I'm not doing melons. I've already done the onions. The peas I've already pulled. I don't need peppers. I've already pulled the pumpkins. The radish seeds I've already done. The squash seeds I've already done. And I've already got all the tomato seeds removed. So because I've already done it once or twice, these are ready to put back into storage as well. And so you've been able to see real time how fast this can go. I started with hundreds of seed packets and now I'm down to the final box. I've organized my seeds to make this process quick. Of course, if you've got fewer seed packets, it's going to be even quicker. But if you've got a lot of packets and you're unsure of what to do, Hopefully this has given you some ideas. And now that we're down to this final box, we can organize these seeds by each bed that they're going into. That's where the planter app comes in. I've been able to lay out a plan for each of my beds. Now this part of the process is going to take some time. I need to go through each of these packages and figure out which bed they're going to go into in my garden. It's relatively easy because I'll be growing cucumbers together so I can put all the cucumber seeds in one group. But as for the rest of these, it's just laying them out as I decide the final plan. You don't need to see all of this real time. So let's fast forward to when I've got the groupings figured out. So all of these seed packets represent 
what I'm going to grow in my garden this year. There's still a lot of seeds left in this box, but some of them, like this marigold and like these sunflower seeds, are going in my landscape. They're not going in my vegetable garden, and they're not going to be put in the ground until after my last frost date. And I'm almost a month away from my last frost date, so there's no rush on these. Others represent lots of duplicates. I already have some sugar pumpkin seeds that I've laid out. I don't need all of the duplicate packages. The same with all the extra soybean seeds I have. I recognize that I have more pea seeds than I am planning to grow in this first phase, so they're staying in the box. I'm not necessarily discarding the plan for these seeds this year. The peas, for example, I'll be doing two plantings of peas. I'll be starting peas here in just the next couple days for a spring planting, and then some of these that are still in the box will go in my garden in late summer for a fall crop. So this box, while it represents what's growing in my garden, doesn't represent what's going to be growing in my garden first. That's where these seed packets come in. And so now the next step is to go through these seeds and make sure they match my plan and my bed. So in my long Hugo culture bed, I'll be growing jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, one or two black beauty zucchinis, one or two golden zucchinis, probably three or four of the honey boat delicata, and a couple of the small sugar pumpkins. So this group of seed packets represents one single bed that I'll be planting. With the specific seed packages identified by bed, now what I like to do is take a rubber band and put it around this group of seeds. So this package represents all of the seeds I'll be putting into my Hugo culture bed. This group, which is made up of peas of a couple different types, some spinach, some slow bolt cabbage, a couple types of lettuce, and a different pea are actually laid out. Again, they're all going into the same bed, but I'm laying them out in the order that they're going into that bed. So one end of the bed will have these peas, the other end of the bed will have these peas. I'll put a rubber band around them, and this bed is all ready to go. So now when it comes time to actually put these in the ground, they're all ready to go. Next week, I'll take this package grouping outside to put in the ground. After my frost is completely gone, I'll be taking this group of packages to put in the ground. And here in a couple minutes, I'll do the same with these groups as well. And then my garden plan is essentially complete. I'll be able to move into that sowing stage very easily by just grabbing the right package at the right time and putting them into the right bed based on the plan that I've already put together. And if you want to see more about the planning and some of the steps that led up to this point, well, watch this video next. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening. Mm -hmm.